previous session we have implemented the post mapping and we are able to save data into the T customer account table. That is, we have created the account. Now, in this session, we shall implement the get mapping. And in this get mapping, we shall read the database and fetch all the account that is created or available into the database. And second part, we shall implement another get mapping where we shall get the account for a particular customer. So let's quickly implement these two get mapping. So I just tell you one thing: we don't need to make anything in change in the customer repo. It will there is methods that we can use out of the box so we need to work into the customer service let me do one thing in account details we don't have the account number but here we want to display the account number also so let me quickly create a new class here account details so response let me create it here add and here uh, let me add one more thing account holder account number and here I give account number now let me quickly come to the service and here I quickly write a method basically I again let, but before I write this method I explain what I am doing from the repository when we do something we will get a customer account and customer account is an entity it is there in the entity we generally should not expose our entity to the outside world so we copy the properties from entity, put it into a DTO and this DTO we will send to the outer world as a part of the get response. So let's come here and we do something here. Say, okay, let me go by the floor. Let me copy this one. We can say get all account it don't need any parameter here I don't need all these things here I need to do just give find all that's it repo find all and where we just declare account list okay now this account list will contain all the available accounts now we need to convert the, uh, the list of customer account to list of account detail response here yeah, let me change it account details response so how can i do it i should use Java 8 lambda expressions and a string. Oh, sorry. So, if notice, you follow it here, I shall come up with some short videos where I shall take you through all these stream and deleted stream deleted expressions and lambda expressions. Uh, after completing this series, I shall come up with this one. So, I am expecting another. Uh, apart from this, another two video in this series, then I should close this series. And after that, I shall start this dots part and also the security part. So, uh, let's, as of now, we follow it like that. So, let me put account details dot stream dot map. Now, in the map, I shall tell account. Count and um, 
let me write a method here. I'm what a method private count details response entity to dt and entity to account response. Okay. Let's make it like that. Let's come here and we just declare Account response equal to account details response dot builder dot build fine and then we do bin utils dot copy properties and here we need to take customer. Customer account, customer account. So source is our customer account because this is the entity and this is our account response. And then let me return account details response. Okay. Now here I can keep map. What is my method name? Entity response. Okay, so dot then I need to convert it into list. So let me explain. I am taking a stream of account list, then I apply a map. And in this method, I am telling that hey Java from the stream, it take each element of the stream. This is account customer account, then you call this method from there you get the account details and put everything in a list and let me correct this one and so I think I get it here Then let me return what account details has published. That's it. That's the only thing we need to do. Don't worry about these things. You follow it as it is. I shall come with small short videos, say five to ten minutes videos, where I shall explain all these things. May filter, collect, collector list in a small, small independent videos. After completing this series, I shall start that to working on that. So no worries on that. I shall cover all those things. Now let's come here and let make some changes. Get all account. First of all, it should be not account response. What it should be? It will be a list of a database. List of Response entity. What happened? Get on and up. Sorry, man. Response entity. That's it. So instead of this, let me keep what is our service name? Account service dot get all account let me return it one account responses this one return 
and uh, and here I can click the public spaces. I think that's the only thing we need to do. Now let us quickly build our application and start. But I need to make uh, sure you one thing. You, I, I am assuming you followed the entire series and before start, you need, before using this application, you need to start the service registry, then API gateway, then config server, and then you should need to start account management. If you simply start account management, it will not it will not work. It may fail. Okay, because we are building a complete microservice architecture in our series. So please follow that one. All these things are covered in our previous videos. So let's come here and let me run see ideally we should not skip test we should write jmnet test and do test driven development but here i don't want to mix jmnet with this my objective is to uh, provide information about how to create the microservice based application and how to create the basic services, basic building blocks of microservice. So I'm intentionally skipping JUnit, but we'll write, come up with new sessions on JUnit very soon. So let's say, let me run our retail bank application. And that's it. Our application is running. Now, let me go to H2 console. Obviously, it is an in-memory database. So, we need to log in again. This password is password. Okay. Let, me, uh, let me run. As of now, we don't have any data. Let me quickly go to my server and and let me go to our first. We need to create few accounts. So we can create the account from here. We can create it from the postman also. I'm just creating it from here. Try it out. Say I am giving Amit data address Bengaluru phone number 1234 and just execute it. Let me create another say John John Mark and uh, say I am giving it London phone number 56789 okay and let me execute it again so I should have two data in my database now so let me run it yes I have two records now let's see whether our get method returns us those records or not get all. so let's quickly come get all the account try it out and you can see this is the response John Mark and all them. And let's see, check this one in browser also. Let's copy it, paste, and paste it here. It is coming. Let's try it through our API gateway also. And I forgot what is the API gateway port number. Let me check API gateway. YML, what is our port number? 82222. So let's see if it's working or not. 8222. Yes, we are getting our rest. So here we have implemented our get all account method. 
So in the next sessions, we shall try to get an user. Here I am getting account details for all users. Next session, we shall retrieve account details for a particular user. Say from the front end or the API will pass the customer user is a first name and based on that it will return the account number linked with the user. So see you in the next sessions and till then thank you thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe.